Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss what are tannins. To sum it up in a few words, tannins is a group of astringent and bitter compounds that causes this sensation of dryness in the mouth once we swallow our wine. They are found abundantly in nature, in bark, wood, leaves, plants, fruits, cacao, nuts, etc. In the natural stage, tannins is a form of defense system. Indeed, when a plant of fruits isn't ripe enough, it discourages animals from eating it. Chemically speaking, tannins are phenolic compounds that ties up and precipitate proteins. So as our saliva is full of proteins, which give this slimy sensation, in contact with a tannic food or wine, it creates the drying sensation. In wine, the tannins have several sources, the grape skin, the seeds and the stems. We have to understand that there is good and bad tannins. The ones in the skid are considered good, and the rest are bad because they bring too much bitterness. Also, tannins can be found in the oak barrels that are being used to age wines, and thus bring structure and mouthfeel to the wine. While for white wines, juice is often pressed from the arrival of the grapes to the winery, for red wines, the skin and juice is macerated together, which explains that tannins are more perceptible in red wine. There can be, however, also presence of tannins in white wines, especially for those that undergo maceration with the skins. In this line, the winemaking techniques has its impact, based on maceration time, pump overs during fermentation, etc. Also, some grapes that have thicker skin contain more tannins than others. For example, we have Cabernet Sauvignon, Mauverde, Syrah, Sangiovese, Tempranillo, Merlot, etc. Having said that, not all high tannins grapes react the same when becoming wine. Climate and temperature has an influence too. For example, a Syrah from Rhone Valley and a Shiraz from Australia will definitely not present the same tannins characteristic. Hotter climates tend to make tannins more rounded and smooth. Therefore, the one from Rhone Valley will feel more structured and drying. So what about the quality of tannins in wine? So as we mentioned, the tannins bring texture that can be silky, velvety, we would describe them as elegant, but sometimes it can also be too harsh and grippy especially when the drying sensation is too high. In that case, we are saying that the tannins are green when they are too bitter. But sometimes the bitterness can be similar to the one we would find in an espresso or dark chocolates, which can bring a present flavor and complexity to a wine. But no worries, as the wine ages, tannins tend to become softer, more palatable and enjoyable. And similarly, tannins bring ageability to wines. A very tannic wine when young can mean that it will have a potential to age. Also, the tannins can become more palatable and enjoyable when paired with food, and especially with salty food. It also helps when the astringent profile balances with the fattiness of the food. And this is why your tannic red wine will go wonders with your grilled steak. So thank you for watching this video about tannins. We hope you liked it. And see you next time for another wine video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.